This is the case of Ronnie Reed. Ronnie Reed is a death row inmate in the state of Texas. Ronnie Reed was sentenced to death around 20 years ago for the 1996 murder of 19-year-old Stacy Stites in Bastrope, Texas. Police said he strangled, raped, and, and assaulted her. Reed said he's innocent, but the prosecution claims there's overwhelming evidence that he's guilty. With his execution day set November 20th, many people, including well-known celebrities, have called for the halt of his execution. A current petition has over 2.8 million signs on it. Rodney Reed was sentenced to death in 1998 for the rape and murder of Stacy Stites that occurred two years prior. On April 23, 1996, Stites was found dead on the side of a county road outside of Bastrop, Texas. She was found partially clothed, face up with her arms above her head. There were marks on her neck that led investigators to believe that she was strangled, along with a pattern of a braided belt that wrapped around her neck. Investigators found a scrap of a leather belt close to the crime scene, along with a collection of sperm inside of her. Investigators tested the sperm against Reed, which matched perfectly and formed the basis of the case. Initially, Reed denied knowing Sites, though later admitted to having an affair with her, which explained the presence of his DNA being that they were sexually involved two days prior to her body being found. Though it was not surprising that Reed was resistant in admitting the affair in a small town in Texas and the fact that Sites was engaged to Jimmy Fennell, a cop in the town. Reed had witnesses that were informed of the affair that they were never called to testify because of their relation to Reed. However, one woman referred to Sites as Stephanie when called to the stand after meeting her at Reed's home. Among witnesses who weren't called to the stand, two said they knew about Sites and, Reed, and Reed's affair and that Fennell found out and threatened Reed. Rodney Reed and his defenders claimed that the trial that he withstood had bias against him. All members of the jury were white, evidence tested was done unjustly, and the murder weapon was never tested for Mr. Reed's DNA. Also, a prison inmate has already been said to confess to the murder that Mr. Reed was sent to death row for. Now with the, the new evidence that Mr. Reed's lawyers and family have, they believe if a new trial would occur, it would grant him free. A legal term of experts and statisticians from Michigan and Pennsylvania produced an estimate of the dark figure that lies behind the death penalty. The purpose of the test was to conclude how many more of the 8,000 people who have been placed on death row since the 70s have been convicted of a crime they were innocent of. The study showed that at least 4.1% of all death row defendants are innocent, suggesting that more than 200 prisoners still in the system may never be recognized. The trial of Rodney Reed has been based off evidence pertaining solely on the presence of DNA at the crime scene. This may prove the sexual relations between Reed and Sites, but does not prove the context of the relationship. The lack of witnesses in the trial did not provide enough support for the defense. The trial should be reopened and examined, including the testimonies of the witnesses with knowledge of the relationship. To learn more about this case and to support Rodney Reed, please go to www.freerodneyreed.com and sign the petition.